People from all over the country will be in Wichita this weekend to honor a war hero born and bred right here who lost his life serving our country. It's an amazing story. Greg Zerker is here from VFW Post 112 to tell us all about Lieutenant Irwin Bleckley. He is a hometown boy and really a hero in every sense. Oh, he is. He was born and raised in Wichita. I don't think he lived anywhere else mm -hmm. until he enlisted in the military. Um, he comes from a prominent family, a very good family, uh, that whose roots go back to early, early Wichita. The Street Bleckley, named after the family. In 1932, yes. mm -hmm. correct. Um, his his story is one of inspiration. There's sadness there too with mm -hmm. his family, but. Uh, um, it's all coming together this Saturday. We're having uh, 13 family members of his, uh, his niece is actually going to be here, and she will be one of four generations that will be represented here. Tell us about his story. He actually led to finding the Lost Battalion. Correct. He wanted to be a pilot. Uh, his parents uh, thought it was too dangerous, and so <laughs> he became an artilleryman uh, before he shipped off to France. And he was very good with math and numbers. He worked at the Fourth National Bank with his father as a pay teller. And so he was very trustworthy with money and numbers. And um, then he shipped off to France with an infantry mm -hmm. or with the inf artillery unit. Mm -hmm. And the, the call went out for aerial observers among artillerymen because he had to be man a gun as well mm -hmm. in the backseat of a plane. And um, he was very successful at whatever he did. Um, he, he did learn how to fly, mm -hmm. and he was a gunner and also a spotter, a, um, somebody who could mark uh, German locations of gun batteries and whatnot mm -hmm. in placements, and then relay that information back to the command post. So what, how did he help them find the lost battalion? Well, his, his pilot and his, his crew, he was part of a two-man crew. The pilot was Harold Gettler of Chicago. Uh, they're part of the 50th Aero Squadron. In October 6, 1918, their sole mission for the squadron was to find the Lost Battalion. So 13 sorties went out mm -hmm. that day. He, they flew an earlier sortie. It, their plane got shot up. Miraculously, Gettler or Bleckley did not get hit. They volunteered for a later mission late in the day in wow. terrible conditions, gloomy skies, worsening weather. Um, they couldn't see very well. Mm -hmm. And they borrowed a plane because their earlier plane had been grounded by the fire by the gunfire. Mm -hmm. So they're flying a plane that's not theirs and they took off and they flew lower and slower over the area that was suspected to be where the lost battalion was located and they drew German fire on purpose so they could mark their positions and help by marking their positions find the lost battalion mm -hmm. and also drop supplies down to them. Greg, we have to fast forward a little bit because of time constraints. They did not make it out of that mission alive but Correct. they did help lead uh, helped to the lost battalion and saved hundreds of lives. Correct. His maps, his, the maps he marked helped save the lost battalion the next day, lead to their rescue. And he saved, he and Gettler literally saved dozens of people on the ground. Isn't that something? Let's yes. show you the event that's going on on Saturday. The Bleckley commemoration is from 9 to 11 a.m. Doors will open at 8 a.m. Seating is limited, so you need to get there early. It's at the VA Auditorium at the Robert J. Dole VA Medical Center. That's 5500 East Kellogg here in Wichita. The event is open to the public, and eventually you hope to have a display in his honor at the Wichita Airport. That would be wonderful. That's the ultimate goal. That's what we're working towards. We'll have you on again next time to talk about that. Thank you. <laughs> Look forward to it. All right. Thanks, Greg.